what have you done in his life? I've taken him away. You've taken him away from what? From God. Taking him away from God. Who are you? What is your name? Speak out. Uh, we're too strong. What is your name? You have a name. Speak out in Jesus' mighty name. We're too many. You're too many. Uh, Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. How, how did you enter his life? Uh, he opened the door for us. How did he open the door? You don't need to know anything. You have no right. You came to Arena of Liberty and you will speak out right now in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. How did you enter his life? Huh? How did, which door did he open? He made a pact with the devil. He made a pact with the devil. Speak out in Jesus' mighty name. How did you destroy his life? He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. How did you destroy his finances? What kind of pact did he make with you? Shut up. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. You will speak right now in Jesus' name. How long, how long ago did he make that pack? Five years ago. Five years ago. What kind of pack was it? What, what was it for? He wanted to be happy. He wanted to be happy, so he made a pack with you. Yes. He wanted power. How, how many of you are in there? We are a legion. You are a legion. You, have, you made the greatest mistake to, to step into your arena of liberty. Jesus Christ is more than you and you will go right now. This is my soul. He's not. Jesus Christ has paid the ultimate price for his body. And you will go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere that you are, you demon and your legions, we command you to come out in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. Come on. Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' mighty name. 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 Now, for the record, I understand there is no voice effects on that. There's no, this is not Hollywood production. We're not there yet and stuff. So, but there's no voice effect. This young man who looks wonderful, some of you know him from Chihuahua. He plays in a, in a band. He played in a band. And so he came dressed up in a suit, came nice to the service. And during the service, started, something started to happen. And evil spirits started to torment him and manifest. They brought him to the front. And then all this stuff started to happen. Now people might ask, how much did you pay him? We didn't pay him. We didn't bring him here. <laughs> he came on his own. And so Alexis, um, for the benefit of us who are sitting here today, how did this demon enter into your life? Well, I asked it to come into me because I was, I asked God to help me out because it was a time in my life where I just felt like, I, like I, I, I wasn't able to do anything like um, I asked him to come into my life and and then from there you know I asked I asked him because I wanted to feel happy I wanted to feel like I wasn't scared of anything so when that happened you know it happened for a while you know but I... so your brother passed away yeah, yeah. yeah. so your brother passed away you come to God and you ask God to come in and help you give you happiness yeah. you feel like God is taking his time mm -hmm. right so you speed dialed the devil yeah. so you like you literally asked the devil to come inside of you yeah. did you also go to like you went to the cemetery yeah, right cemetery the... now, are, you, are you from a christian background yes, sir. why in the world <laughs> would you ask the devil <laughs> to come inside i mean w were you thinking this was a joke or no um did you really think the devil was gonna make you happy well i thought at that moment i thought it, he was wow but hey and so did you feel after after you did that did you feel something come inside of you yeah i did i i felt happy for a, a pretty good while but you you something you started to happen to you because after that you start having outbursts of anger that actually and you start breaking things beating things even end up in jail yeah um i started um to get mad at things just my mom would ask me hey let's go to church i'd be like i don't want to go to jail. we have to go and i would just get mad and like i felt like 
I was an animal. I would literally get mad and start throwing my arms around, and like saliva would come out of my my mouth when I would get. Wow, wow. You think that had anything to do with what you did at the cemetery? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it definitely did. <laughs> wow. And so you you came here for prayer and. Uh, Okay, for the, there are people in here who probably have second thoughts. They're like, well, this is all staged and everything. Was this staged? Was this your acting? How long did you practice for this? I mean, was this real? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was real. What was going through? I mean, was that you? What was happening to you? Um, well, I came in here, you know, and, and I honestly wanted to leave. I was, I was just there. I, I knew something was in me because I started shaking. What was in me didn't want to be in here. But I knew it had to be in here because... Once you come to the presence of God, the demon is going to come out running out. Unless, unless they take you out before you get a chance to get him out, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so when this was happening here, you were in the, we have people in the prayer line today. They're a little bit scared now. They're like, man, what did I sign up for? They didn't tell me that and stuff. Don't worry. You're fine. The demon is not going to be fine. But what was happening? Were you in your mind or were you like in the background when, when this demon started to speak? I mean, what was happening to you? Were you gone? Were you, you, can you recall these things? Um, when that happens, to, when that happened to me, I was there. But some, something else was, was, was taking control of my body. There was nothing I could do. How long has it been now since you've been freed? Um, two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah. Two years. How do you feel? Do you still uh, get around beating people and stuff? No, no, no way. I feel good. <laughs> yeah. So, a lot of times, evil spirits, they manipulate people's emotions. Now, that doesn't mean that every time you get angry, you got a demon. Because we also have a flesh. But when it goes to this extreme, you can't, anything that you can't control is controlled by someone else. And Bible makes it very clear to us that that someone else is not an emotion. It's an evil spirit. It's an evil entity. It's the devil. Where he lives, inside, outside, on the top, on the bottom, on the feet, we don't, we don't know. We don't care. One thing we do focus on is this. Is Jesus called us to cast out evil spirits. Amen. And some people go to church all their life and never once in their life see actually this stuff being real. We read it in the Bible and it's like... It's like watching an exorcist of Emily Rose or something. It's like, man, this is strange. I'm glad I'm not there. But the Bible says that these things will be happening today. And so when we see, this is just one example of many testimonies I can pull up right now of people who've been freed. And after that, their life has been changed and transformed. In order to have a new you in the new year, you have to be demon free. You have to be free. Can somebody say amen? amen. Let's give a round of applause for Alexis. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you for sharing. Hi there. If you're like me and you like to click on things, go ahead and click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this way, we'll be able to send the content to you directly. And each week you'll stay updated with the things that we post. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.